In this video, I'll explain well water filtration to help you determine what you need to fix that nasty well water at your home cottage or cabin for your family. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water. Are you unhappy with the safety, taste, smell, discoloration, or staining caused by your well water? By the end of this video, you'll know what a complete well water filtration system consists of, what each component is called, and what it does, as well as the correct order of filtration. And I'll detail next steps to getting your well water fixed. Basically, you clean up the water to remove the dirt, color, and impurities so your water won't stain your fixtures, and then we disinfect it so it's safe for your family. We'll check out my well water infographic as I explain each phase of well water filtration. Keep in mind, what you need depends on what's in your well water. So water starts to flow from your well, and then from the well, first it hits your pressure tank. The pressure tank accumulates water under pressure from the well pump to push out your water to your household when you open a faucet. The pressure tank makes your well pump last longer because the pump doesn't need to turn on and off for very small amounts of water when you use those. Next, you would use one or sometimes more of these sediment prefiltration systems depending on how much dirt there is in your water. So next you can see a spin down filter right after the pressure tank. A spin down filter is used for very coarse filtration. As water flows into the spin down filter, dirt accumulates on the filter element inside. Now after a few days of use, you're going to need to flush out that uh, spin down filter. And to do that, you just put a bucket underneath, open up the valve at the bottom, and centrifugal force will spin the dirt that's on that filter element out the bottom. After it's been flushed, then all you do is shut the, the valve and go on from there for a few more days. Now this is a manual process, so you'll definitely need to remember to flush it out. They definitely aren't an automatic system. Next up, we have a filter housing with a sediment filter inside. If the dirt amount isn't too bad, and usually from a well it isn't, you would use one of these to pre-filter your water before any water filtration equipment, like an iron filter or water softener, to protect that equipment. Now the filter element will need to be changed at least once a year or sooner if your water flow slows down. Now if that spin down filter is constantly getting clogged, or you're fed up with constantly changing those uh, sediment filters in that cartridge filter system, you can get one of our Hume automatic backwashing sediment filters, and that's item E here on the infographic that can, like it says, automatically backwash itself. These are great because dirt accumulates inside while you're using your water, and then every four days or so, they backwash to flush out all the debris automatically. So this makes life much easier for you as there's no filters to change and there's no chemicals involved whatsoever. Now keep in mind, if there's hardly any dirt in your water, you won't need any of these sediment pre-filters. Now, if you have iron or sulfur in your water, you would need one of our Hume, FOB, FOC, or FOK, iron and sulfur filters. You'll notice sulfur as that rotten egg smell coming from your water and iron, well, that leaves those rusty stains. That's pretty obvious. These oxidize the iron and sulfur out of your water, trap it inside and clean themselves every few days to flush out the debris. Once again, no filters to change and no chemicals to add. Now, if your water's hard, and quite often well water is, the next step would be one of our Hume water softeners. Now water softeners also remove up to 1.0 parts per million of iron from your well water. So they work well at removing any minor iron residual after the iron filter or they can remove small amounts of iron instead of the iron filter. These use water softener salt to clean the resin beads inside the media tank. You'll need to top off the salt based on your family's water usage. If you've brown water caused by tannins, this is where the tannin filter would go, right after the water softener. So we've gotten rid of the iron, we softened the water, and now we remove that color. But a tannin filter looks exactly like a water softener. In terms of maintenance, tannin filters also use water softener salt to clean themselves out. So as you can see by now, we've gotten of the dirt from the water, we've gotten rid of any iron and sulfur from the water, we've also um, softened the water, got rid of any color from the water. The next step is we need ultraviolet disinfection to make sure the water is bacteria free for your family. Now remember, if you don't make your water bacteria free for your family, no one else will. This is not like city water where they make sure the water is bacteria free. When it comes to well water, it's all up to you. Now as water flows into the ultraviolet disinfection system, which is also known as a UV, it flows through a sediment filter first, which removes any fine particles of dirt from your water and it also goes through a carbon filter which protects your family because it removes chemicals from your water like herbicides and pesticides and the last stage of that Hume Safe Water 10 ultraviolet disinfection system is the UV light itself that kills the bacteria and makes the water safe for your family. To remove contaminants and excessive total dissolved solids like salt, potassium, copper, aluminum, nitrates, uranium, lead, fluoride, arsenic, microplastics, and forever chemicals like PFAS, PFOA, 
pharmaceuticals and personal care products and to create a second barrier from bacteria, you would add a reverse osmosis drinking water system. And as you can see, this goes at the end because it's not a whole house system. All it does is feed one faucet at the kitchen sink. And if you've got a water dispenser and ice maker in your fridge, it can also feed that too. So what exactly do you need in well water filtration for your family? We'd be happy to make a recommendation, but we need some more information. First, go to our websites watereastdoor.com in the US or watereastdoor.ca in Canada. Once you're there, just go to the top up here. And once this blue band comes up, go over here where it says learn more under free water test evaluation, and then scroll down to the bottom of this page. And here you'll see a form where we need you to fill out. And it's got some great information there about how big your household is and a number of other pieces of information like that. And we're also gonna need a water analysis. In other words, we need to know how hard your water is, how much iron you have, and that kind of thing. Now, now, if you don't have that information, no problem. We can test your water for free. All you do is just scroll up a little bit further and it's got all the information in here for how you can get a water sample to us. And like I say, we'll test it for you for free. And from there, we can go on with your recommendation. And if you're looking for more information about the well water filtration systems we discussed here today, including how they work, how to install, how to maintain, you can go to our websites, either watereastdoor.com in the US or watereastdoor.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. Click here for your next video on water filtration basics and I'll see you there.